Tom here from Warren Systems, and let's talk about TrueNAS Scale. There is an article, blog post, over at IX Systems about TrueNAS Scale and it being available. Please note, I want to make sure you're clear on this. It is not safe for work yet. It is not safe. Well, I guess it's safe for home, depending on what your use case is. It is not ready for production. But the way it gets there is by testing. So those of you that feel daring and want to play with some of the latest technology that's coming out from IX Systems in regards to TrueNAS scale, you can get out there and download it. It's still an alpha release, and I wanted to take a look at it and give an update. I get a lot of comments on videos whenever I've done some of the TrueNAS ones asking why I'm not doing them on TrueNAS scale. This will be my reply now because it's an alpha release. There is a misconception that it's out ready and running around in the world being deployed commercially and not quite yet. TrueNAS Core is still the stable, more mature version of the product that for storage management and TrueNAS Scale is the up and coming and offers some different features. It's not a replacement for TrueNAS Core for those of you that haven't watched my previous video, which I'll link to about what is TrueNAS Scale. It is a basis on Debian. So it's a little bit different base instead of being free BSD, but still comes with open ZFS and it's going to be a scale out solution. The concept is going to be able to start with a single node and scale out to multiple nodes for your storage needs. And it's a little bit different the way it's going to work because it's going to allow to scale out a ZFS data set and define ZFS data sets or cluster data sets which span multiple nodes. Yeah, a little bit different. Uh, not to mention it's going to have virtualization based on uh, KVM with Kubernetes and Docker and all the fun things that people love inside of Linux. And right now, this is their little announcement. After a successful development cycle with thousands of downloads, TrueNAS Scale 2102 is now available. Now they're adopting a numbering scheme based on the date. So it's now available. It's referred to as Angelfish and is rapidly maturing. Now, this is one of the things I just want to make sure people know is that yes, while rapidly maturing is a thing, it is still needs a lot of bug reports and bug reports are not leaving comments on YouTube or comments in random forums. It is following the process over in the Ix systems forums for this and going through and finding out if the bug is known, unknown, exists, etc. cetera. Uh, but the work is continuing. And like I said, this is community support is a big piece of this. Now we have some kind of initial uh, release dates on here for when they're planning for things. So here it is, uh, 2106 is looks like when we're supposedly going to get some uh, better development versions on there. So this is all very preview release stuff right now that we're at. But this is to answer that questions. They also have a lot of release notes, which will help clear up some of the issues that are on there. And let's actually take a look at the UI. As cool as this is to see it, uh, things that they on there and you can do this, or we'll actually start with that. So you can type system version. You can see the scale uh, is what it runs at. I went ahead and did this, installed it and configured and set it up. And when you're initially looking at it, you can tell it is definitely still built very similar to the TrueNAS core system. Basically, the goal was when they merged FreeNAS and TrueNAS was to create a portable middleware, which they did, and then be able to port that middleware so it's not operating system dependent completely. There's still going to be changes between the two of them, but uh, I thought it was interesting because they kind of consolidated things a little bit differently. The way they kind of did these collapsible menus for the credentials, like data protection instead of tasks is where some of this is where replication tasks live, initial shutdown, cron jobs. This was just under tasks if you're looking at a normal set of TrueNAS Core. Um, but you can probably see a little red icon up there because it has decided to reboot a couple times on me when I was goofing and testing. Um, I've got it double virtualized, so it nested virtualization essentially inside of another machine just for testing purposes. Not a great idea. That's also why I called the pool, which has a single drive in it, NSFW, because this is really not safe for work right now. Uh, but nonetheless, I was playing around with the virtualization and have some test data on there. Uh, I noticed it wasn't working properly with setting the permissions. You can set them from the command line, but I wasn't able to set them in the UI properly. It just kind of spins for a little while, but it does allow me to create share. So very basic testing that I've done with it just to take a look at it. But I thought people would be kind of interested in it, including I just thought this was really novel to do this. Oh, kind of get the uh, command prompt in there. And because it is running on Debian, it feels kind of weird to be able to do that inside of a TrueNAS system and go, hey, look, we have Debian on here. And uh, yeah, that's pretty neat. The 
Up and coming virtualization though, that's where we're gonna probably see a lot of innovation. I know a lot of people have been excited because one of the challenges is with TrueNAS Core dealing with free BSD jails. Now IO Cage that runs on that's a great system in BSD. It just doesn't have the popularity and mainstream support you get with, well, Docker. And the fact that they've now integrated Kubernetes and Docker into this is going to be huge because then installing these things and setting them up and the more popularity, the larger popularity, I should say, of Docker containers means there's just going to be a lot more available things on there. And even for myself, uh, being that it's based on Linux versus FreeBSD is a more familiar environment to me. And uh, that's that's just going to be why it's a lot more popular. Now, as far as what they're going to be doing, they still have MinIO in here. They've got Gluster built in. So they're going to be building out the scalable storage. Now, I have not done any videos on large scale storage, but I actually plan to do a few coming up in the future here to kind of break things down a little bit because... There's a lot too when you start scaling out storage. There's a lot of tools out there such as Gluster and Ceph that allow for this. And I really want to dive deeper into the way they're going to be deploying it, which I've not had the time to really do on TrueNAS Scale. Read through the documentation, test it out if you're interested. Like I said, it's available for download, but it is still NSFW, as in don't deploy this in anything production right now. Uh, but I'll leave links to this over on the Act Systems blog post. I, I just want to give an update because a lot of people just seem to ask this question constantly of where it's at and their development cycles. So check it out, uh, you know, follow along with them uh, as to when it's going to be released. And of course, once it all gets into production release, I will be doing some videos on it. For now, actually still, as of right now, March 2nd, 2021, I need to catch up on doing a full tutorial, which I have been working on for True NAS Core 12 because it's been out and stable enough that I think it's time to do the whole top to bottom video. So look for that coming up in the future. All right, thanks. And thank you for making it to the end of this video. If you enjoyed this content, please give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more content from this channel, hit the subscribe button and the bell icon. To hire a sure project, head over to lawrencesystems.com and click on the Hire Us button right at the top. To help this channel out in other ways, there's a Join button here for YouTube and a Patreon page where your support is greatly appreciated. For deals, discounts, and offers, check out our affiliate links in the descriptions of all of our videos, including a link to our shirt store where we have a wide variety of shirts and new designs come out, well, randomly, so check back frequently. And finally, our forums. Forums.lawrencesystems.com is where you can have a more in-depth discussion about this video and other tech topics covered on this channel. Thank you again, and we look forward to hearing from you. In the meantime, check out some of our other videos.